money buy happiness? This is an age-old question. Yes. Uh, can money buy happiness? Does happiness come from money? Well, we're going to have that conversation real quick. Now, before I give you the answer here, here's one of the most famous scenes from one of my favorite movies, Boiler Room, at 1.25, where Ben Affleck walks in with a big swing and, and tells everybody, listen up, y'all. I know what I'm doing here. Um, can money buy happiness? Check me out. Go ahead. Anybody tells you money's the root of all evil? Doesn't fucking have any. They say money can't buy happiness? Look at that fucking smile. Look at that, that smile. Face. Ear to ear, baby. How young he you was. want details? Bye. There I'm it is. Boom. Hour. Okay. And then he goes on to say how he basically has a sick car, sick house, uh, sick life, sick jewelry. Okay. Um, they said that money can't buy happiness. Well, look at the smile on my fucking face. Ear to ear, baby. All right. Money. Well, can money buy happiness? You guys let me know. Can money buy happiness? Well, it turns out it can. Yay. But it depends on what you spend it on. Mm -hmm. So here's an article right here. Can money buy money can buy happiness? Actually, it's the other way around. Happy people are more successful in life. So money, there's a direct correlation with money and happiness. You know, I talk about the big three, health, wealth, and happiness. What's happiness? Happiness is having meaning and purpose in your life and not talking about it, being about it, actions over words. Um, in a survey of 2,000 Americans, respondents said they would need a substantial pay bump to be happy, meaning they said they, they want more money because more money will lead to being happier. Interesting. Here's some stats for you. The median salary of participants was 65000 Do you know what the average... Uh, salary that they said that they wanted at sixty-five thousand that would make them happy at sixty-five. Nat, what do you think it was? I don't know. How much? One hundred to say. Ninety-five thousand. Nat, you're allowed to talk. There's a microphone there. Sorry. Um, people earning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars said that they would need this amount to be happy. What do you think that number is? Uh, five hundred. Three fifty. Not bad. It's a fifty percent increase. Basically saying, in order to be happy, I want more money. Okay. Yeah. So money maybe can. Buy happiness. Look at the smile on my face. Ear to ear, baby. Okay. Thank Money. you, Ben Affleck. Now, here it is. Here's some other more stats for you. Baby boomers, the old folks out there. Uh-oh. How much did you think they said that they would want a year in order to be happy? Oh. Give a number. Today? Right now. Baby boomers. Um, 500,000. 124,000. Interesting. I'm Millennials. Not surprised. I'm not surprised, actually. Millennials, on the other hand, how much do you think they need to make a year in order to be happy? A million. A half a million dollars. You had it right there. <laughs> men and women. <laughs> Talking about happiness. Yeah. Should we go with the men first or the women first? Let's go with the men and then the men first. with the women. How much money does the average man say that he wants in order to be happy? Money a year. 500. 380,000. Okay. Interesting. Now a woman. A million. How much <laughs> does she want? A million. It's actually less than the man. A hundred and eighty three. Really? Thousand. Really? Interesting. Money, happiness. There's a direct correlation right there. They said that money can't buy happiness. Look at the smile on my face. Ear to hear, baby. There's Ben Affleck right there. Um, here's a different article right now where it says, this is from USA Today. Uh, if you scroll down, how much money it costs to be happy in different cities. Um, it turns out that based on the city that you're in, it's going to cost a little bit of more money sense. to be happy. As it turns out, cities like in California, all yeah. LA, San Francisco, uh, you're going to need well over $150,000 a year to be happy. Um, also Florida. in New York City. Now, it also turns out that in cities in the South, mm -hmm. in cities in the Midwest, happiness is actually somewhere around eighty dollars to $100,000. So lifestyles of the rich and famous lifestyle creep depends on the city you're in. By the way, if you scroll down a little bit more, um, you can find specific cities where they're talking about oh. the lowest and the highest lowest. santa barbara california gorgeous in order to be happy 162. 162 nat read it fast 162 santa barbara honolulu hawaii 148,000. new york is number three at 145,000. san francisco number five with 144,000. and seattle uh, at number five, 134,000. That's and the, the lowest, okay. Lowest is Knoxville, Tennessee, 88,000. Cincinnati, Ohio, 93,000. Memphis, Tennessee, 94,000. Salt Lake City, Utah, 95,000. And Louisville, Kentucky, 
96 hundred uh, ninety six. Well 000. done. Now I'll tell you something about this. This doesn't mean this is the money they're making. This is the money they want to be making. Because if you learned anything mm -hmm. in the stats that I told you, a person making sixty five thousand says that they want to make ninety five thousand to be happy, and a person making two, um, yeah, two fifty would like to be making three fifty. So a fifty percent increase is what people would like they're to be happy, for. but. I started off with the whole segment about Ben Affleck. And they said that money can't buy happiness. Look at the smile on my face, ear to ear. And then he went on talking about his car, his house, his jewelry. But it turns out those material items don't make you happy. Now, here's some scientific research about what making happy is. So um, Harvard researchers, by the way, is this in that article from USA Today, said the following. I want you to know what it sticks out to you before we wrap up here. Um, Harvard researchers, um, it's not the amount of money that you have that makes you happy. It's how you spend it. They go on. They say the, qual the quality of our social relationships, a.k.a. Mm. friendships, the quality of our social relationships is a strong determinant of happiness. Mm. Friendships, relationships, happiness. Because of this, Almost anything we do to improve our connections with others oh. to improve our happiness. This is relationships over retail. Because oh. it turns out that when you buy stuff, it is what's no, known as a sugar high. Oh, I just bought this. Now I'm happy. Oh, I got to buy something else. Mm -hmm. But it turns out when you have good times and you have experiences, when you help others, when you spend, um, uh, have good times with others, it actually is sustainable. Here's some more research for you from a social scientist. Arthur Brooks emphasizes that money doesn't buy happiness unless it is used for experiences, mm. gaining extra time or donating to others. Again, relationships or improving your life, not buying stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that uh, there used to be a phrase, he who buys, he who, he who dies with the most toys wins. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? So if you die and you got the boat and the yacht and the car and the this and the that, you win. Well, it turns out that actually led you to being broke. Mm. And then in the Washington Post, there was a new article that says, now it turns out he who um, dies with the least amount of toys wins because right. it's all about experiences over material goods. I agree. Um, so donating time to others. Instead, happiness comes from building strong social connections mm -hmm. and finding Purposeful engagement. That's from a different social researcher and social scientist other than the Harvard researchers. Last thing I'll say is this. Research suggests, this is, now this is, this is in-depth research, guys. You ready for it? Um, research suggests that while higher incomes generally correlate with increased happiness, and why is that? Moving from a financially stressful situation to, a, to stability often brings greater happiness, a.k.a. Not having money stresses you the fuck out. <laughs> Pretty forward. Yeah. So I like the way that they write articles saying, moving from financial financially stressful situation to stability often brings greater happiness. Turns out being broke is pretty damn stressful. <laughs> and as Kanye once said, having money isn't everything, but not having it, it is. So um, is money the cure to everything? No. But you guys know if you've ever been broke, what not having money does to your life stresses you the out. So um, it's not often that I'm quoting Kanye for his um, philosophical um, greatness. It's usually his rap flow, but Kanye does have a point there, right there. So just to recap this, um, we talked about a few different things today. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be rich, it turns out you got to, Make money. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that comedian who let us know that. But it turns out in order if you want to be rich and make money, get into sales. Shout out to PBD and what he's taught literally tens of thousands of people at PHP and myself included on how to um, sell and make more money. Don't follow your passion. Don't follow your money. Follow your skills. What are you good at? Follow your talent. So respect on that. Um, beyond that... Um, Spending money. We learned from the guy. Don't spend all your money because you will be broke. Wow. Right, Nat? Yes. Uh, horrible financial advice. <laughs> but who did give great financial advice 
was that rabbi speaking with the money smart guy yep. talking about how to have balance with your budget. Balance your budget. Having your needs, having your wants, and having your savings and what you're able mm -hmm. to do with that. Um, and PBD talking about um, make sure that the young wolf takes care of the future old wolf. Uh, old wolf. Mm -hmm. Will Smith, he's back at it. Back at it. Number one action movie star in the world again today. Work hard, and then you can play hard. What do they say? Uh, hard work beats talent. When talent doesn't work hard, look at him um, doing his thing. Respect on that. Um, there's always going to be people and haters dragging you down. F the haters. Um, if you don't have haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> and last but not least, does money buy happiness? Yes, but don't use it on material items. Use it on experience with your friends and your family save that money. Whoa, 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 if you like that one, click right here to watch the full SauceCast, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.